Hey everybody, how's it going? Here's a project I haven't worked on in quite a while now. This is uh, the last video for this was April 09, and right now, of course, it's January 2010. So it's been a few months, that's for sure. Last time I had worked on this, I had this body all done up in clay here, and I made some vacuform shapes off it just as a proof of concept. And basically, I put it away for a long while just to let it sit and so I could think about it. And my dilemma was that the clay I had was non-drying. So uh, no matter how long I left it there, of course, it would never cure. So I came across this stuff here a few months ago. This is Model Magic Fusion, a Crayola product of all things. And it's got some sparkle fun going on if the camera is showing that up. But this is a uh, air drying, non-shrinking, non-cracking clay it's almost foam like to some degree and I figured this could be pretty good as a test because I wanted something cheap to fill the body up here and I found this at the dollar store so uh, I don't think I have the full package anymore this is it but just look around for Crayola products model magic fusion if you're interested so I piled a bunch in the body here and I don't think any of its visible anymore it doesn't look like but after a few days and then a few weeks and then a month or two later it still hadn't really gotten solid I mean, it definitely firmed up a lot but it wasn't you could still push it around with your thumbs so finally just the other day I was working with some Ava's epoxy anyway so I figured I'd pull this out and I just started slathering a little on the neck and that's all I was gonna do and then I started filling up the bottom and the other side and a week later because I had to let it cure in between each section to keep it as smooth as possible uh, all of a sudden I had all of this area without the pylons going on and I was pretty happy with it there's definitely a body a lot of body work that needs to be done still but as more and more sections get done and cured I can work on that as I go and uh, one of the dilemmas that I immediately faced was how I wanted to set the uh, pylons into the body. I want to be able to cast this eventually, which means I need to have the pylons separate. So it occurred to me, well, I could just make some sheaths for that. And I just finished that up a few minutes ago, actually. So basically, I, this is all acrylic here, so I tacked that in with some acrylic glue. Put in a sheet here plopped in some epoxy there, put a sheet under here, plopped the epoxy there. That cured last night, so I've been putting the sides of the uh, pylons in here today. I figured I should get a video of this before I got too much further. So essentially this is going to work. I'm going to fill this over now and then trim the uh, styrene down to fit to the shape. Overall, the most difficult part of this was getting these angles here symmetrical to the body so you can see this flat acrylic line going here so basically I just kept shaving that down and rested this plane here along the body and tacked it down like that and then started filling in place don't know if there's too much more to say about it at this point keeping track of which pylon goes on which side has been a trick but I don't think that it really matters too much they are pretty much symmetrical and as far as getting the line down the body if we can see some angles here I don't know if the camera will flatten that out well it's been kind of tough to make sure that the symmetry on the uh, angles here is working exactly right but I'm pretty sure I got it the distance from the neck to the pylon on each side is pretty much the same the angle coming out of the body is the same and the angle set in the body is pretty much the same as well there's a few times where I'll look at it and it seems kinda of weird but overall I think it's pretty much got the symmetry going on that it needs to and if not I've left a little wiggle room on this pylon just to uh, leave things open and malleable for the moment it pretty much sits where it is but if I can bend it just a little to make sure the angle is dead exact and that works all the better uh, you know previously I had concentrated on working on 
the saucer part of the hole here and that's where all my time was devoted so I figured it was time to throw some uh, effort at the body itself so this is definitely gonna work out pretty well I've got a lot more Ava's work in front of me to go and overall I think the shape here is really working it's very heavy it's probably on the order of five to six pounds at this point yeah it's somewhere in there maybe three eh, call it three to five just to make sure but overall this is proceeding I may try the Avis trick up here on the top of the hull I had previously used Bondo to a little effect if some Avis tests don't work then essentially I'll go with some styrene ribs and start building up the shape that way it's symmetrical on the top and the bottom so I can cut a lot of the same shapes to uh, make things work for both sides so next up on this one I'm gonna fill this over trim out all the extra styrene start smoothing the body I'll probably be covering up the acrylic here I've been trying to leave it bare for now just so I know where everything is and then one of the tricks I don't know if the acrylic is going to show through but the main line is right across here and then the center line goes down the middle of course this should be a circle but the way the uh, water line essentially works for this ship is that the back and this center point here to that center point there are perfectly parallel to each other so all the excess shape comes in the bottom of the hull so whereas this is uh, let me get the angle here so whereas the acrylic line comes across the lower half of this I still need to make this a circle as well which is going to make that tough and here the acrylic line comes across high so I got to make that a circle so it hasn't been too bad this is pretty close to the circular shape I need it to be at this moment filling in the neck is going pretty well I may need to shave off down on this side to give a little more curvature going on and uh, hopefully I haven't really talked to any casters yet about what kind of problems I'm going to face but I'd like to make this as one single piece I don't know if that's really going to be possible or not so uh, I guess that's uh, there's if it'll show up there's a little of the uh, model magic fusion right in there so I beefed that out as much as possible and this is just a skin of the Avis because this stuff gets pretty expensive and if I had filled this entire thing up with the Avis, it'd probably be two pounds of it at least. So that's pretty much it for this one for the moment. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.